So for question, they say x is variable, but it didn't tell us why it's a variable. Given probability is this formula, then we can see x is equal to 0, 1, 2. So from here we know this is discrete random variable. And this discrete random variable is 0, 1, 2, and dot, 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 dot. Dot means endless. We have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and infinity, unlimited. So we don't, we don't have any limit of this x. So we have to show this x is discrete random variable. But how are we going to show the random variable is discrete random variable? So we're still using these properties. Uh, if you are discrete random variable, we are confirmed to say that total of probability must be equals to 1. So from here, we have to come up the probability and their random variable first. So we can see it in table. So when you have 0, 1, 2, so when you have dot 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 means endless 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so enough, too much already. So we just see, we want to see the pattern. For this probability, when s is 0, the probability is uh, here will be power 0. So it will give us 2 over 5. When s is 1, when we substitute here, it will be power of 1. So 2 over 5 times 3 over 5. When x is 2, it will be power of 2. So you can see the pattern. This is power of 2. When it is 3, it becomes power of 3. When it is 4, it becomes power of 4. So to show that this is a discrete random variable, we have to know what is the total of the probability. So this total of probability, we can see for the first random variable, 2 over 5. Uh, then when x equals to 1, it will be like this probability. And x equals to 2, 3, 4. Actually, we still have 5, 6, 7, 8. So when you can see this sum and sum and sum and sum together, so sum to infinity. So we get to the sum to the infinity concept. So you can see this uh, sequence is a geometric sequence. So geometric sequence, we will have first term, we have common ratio. So in order to calculate sum to infinity, the formula is a over 1 minus r. So what's your a? The a will be our first term. So from here, we see this pattern of this value that we need to sum. Our first term is 2 over 5. Then from here, we also can see uh, what's your common ratio. So you can see this number, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term, they multiply with 3 over 5. Multiply with 3 over 5, 3 over 5. So from here, we can read out A is 2 over 5. And then common ratio is 3 over 5. So when you want to sum to infinity, it will be A over 1 minus r. So we can notice that this will give us 1. So once we get the total of probability equals to 1, we can conclude that we already show this x is discrete random variable.